to start exercise 2.2 first question first subdivision a polynomial is given x square minus 2x minus 8 verify the relation between zeros and coefficients or we can write the values of a is a b and c a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, c is equal to minus 8. And zeros are not given, so we have to find it using splitting the middle term. So, identify two numbers, p and q, such that p plus q is equal to minus 2 and p into q is equal to minus 8. So, what you have to do is identify two numbers whose product is h so clearly we can take 4 and 2 and the sum of p and q should be a negative number sum is negative and the product is also negative product negative means one of the numbers should be negative sum negative means the bigger number should be negative so product 8 4 and 2 so, one of the numbers should be negative and the bigger number should be negative. So, minus 4 into 2 is minus 8 and minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2. So, we can take p is equal to minus 4 and q is equal to plus 2. Then, you are splitting the middle term method. So, we can write x square minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0 as an equation. Then, minus 2x we can write as plus 2x minus 4x. So the equation become x square plus 2x minus 4x minus 8 equal to 0. And we are taking the common term out. So when you take x out, it became x into x plus 2. From these two, we can take minus 4 out. Again, minus 4 into x plus 2 equal to 0. So, the equation is x plus 2 into x minus 4 equal to 0. So, either x plus 2 equal to 0 or x minus 4 equal to 0. So, x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 4. So, these are the two zeros. So, we can take one as alpha, other as beta. So, I am taking alpha as minus 2 and beta as 4. So, alpha plus beta is equal to minus 2 plus 4 equal to 2. And minus b by a. What is b? b is minus 2. Minus minus 2 divided by 1 is 2. So, what we got is alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Similarly, alpha into beta is equal to minus 2 into 4 minus 8. Then c by a. What is c? C is minus 8. Minus 8 by 1 is equal to minus 8. So, alpha into beta is equal to C by A. Therefore, alpha plus beta is equal to minus B by A and alpha into beta is equal to C by A. Hence, verified.